Welcome to Flutter Teacher. Do you know the types are mandatory in Dart? That is, whatever kind of variable you create in the Dart, for each and every variable, it's compulsory to specify the data type. Let's look at this example. In this case, age is created with the type int, price is declared with as a double, and name is declared as a string. This type of declaration is called as creating a variable with type annotation. You might be thinking, you haven't created a variable using this way. You might have used where and the dynamic. Now, here comes a question in your mind that if I'm creating a variable with where and dynamic, I'm not specifying a type here. And I'm saying in Dart, the types are compulsory. So how the Dart system works with this where and the dynamic? Answer to this lies in the concept called type inference. Type inference is basically a concept that confirms the type of variable based on the value that you assign to each. Let's say you have a variable using the keyword called var and you assign the value of type int. In this case, this type of variable is considered as a variable of type integer. This is internally managed by the Dart static analyzer. Let's look at these examples. In this case, age is a variable I'm creating with the var keyword. I'm assigning a value 21, which is of type integer. That's the reason when I'm writing age.runtime type, it gives me the int. And make sure that the int is actually confirmed by the Dart type inference concept. And this is actually performed by the Dart static analyzer. In the case of price, I'm assigning a double value that gives me the price as a double kind of variable. In case of name, it is assigned with a string type of value. That's the reason I'm getting a string for the name runtime type. For items, I'm assigning a list of integer here. That's the reason when I'm writing items.runtime type, it simply gives me a list of int. So hope it's very much clear for you guys what the basically type inference is. Wherever you create a variable with a var or dynamic without taking care about the type of your variable, it's a type inference that confirms or that determines the type of variable based on the value that you assign. There might be a big question in your mind. Let's say I create a variable x with var and I haven't assigned a value here. So what will be the runtime type here? In this case, you will get a runtime type as a null. Make sure that this null with capital N is different than the null with small n. The null with small n is a value that indicates nothing or no value. But the n with capital is actually called a null type, indicating that the Dart system haven't inferred the type of your variable. Dart is a type safe language. What do you mean by type safe language? Let's say you create a variable and you assign to value that variable. Dart system ensures that the value that you assign to variable must match with the type of your variable. Let's say if you have mismatch, then definitely the Dart system won't work. It simply gives you the error. Look at this example. X is a type of variable int as specified. Assigning a value 10, it's okay because this is of type int. But if I'm trying to assign value 10.5, which is a double, or I'm assigning a value ABC, which is of type string. So in both the cases, the Dart compiler gives me the error. The simple answer to this is, here, the type safety is not ensured because the type of value I'm assigning is not matching with the type of variable. The type safety is actually achieved with the combination of Dart static type checking and the runtime checks. Let's look at the static type checking. The type of checking which is done during compile time for the type safety is called as the static type checking. Let's say in your code, you're doing some assignment operation over the variables. In this case, the Dart safety will work and it will check out whether your values and type is matching or not. Next, when you perform any operations over the variable, here also it will ensure that whether this operation is valid for this type or not. In case of mismatch you have with the type, then it will simply give you the compile time error and it is actually managed by the Dart static analyzer. On other hand, the runtime check is a second level of type safety that a Dart uses when your program is under execution. So the type safety that is achieved during runtime is simply called as a runtime type checks and it will ensure that 
when your program is under execution and you are trying to change the type of your variable let's say you might be doing a type casting of your values in this case it will ensure that the type should match in case of mismatch you will simply get a runtime exceptions and it is actually performed by the dart runtime system the static type checking and the runtime check the combination is actually called the sound typing or it is also called as a sound type system thanks for watching this video if you really like this video then don't forget to like share subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos